equity analysts work heavily on financial models. However, before learning the skill sets of advanced financial modeling, it is important that we are well versed with the Excel tool to make a financial model. In this sheet, we learn the tips and tricks to format a financial model. A financial modeling includes professionally forecasting future financial statements like income statements, balance sheets, and cash flows. The reported information that we have from the management is the historical income statement, historical balance sheet, and historical cash flows. The management may provide some guidance for sales, profit, capital expenditure, debt, etc. However, they will not provide an analyst with a complete forecasting of financial statement. This is the reason as a professional analyst, we need to question the guidance provided by the company management and also forecast an objective income statement, balance sheet and cash flows for future years. Financial modeling is primarily a virtual recreation of the actual business and it helps an analyst to test assumptions to analyze impact on future performance. It is also beneficial in understanding the growth rates, operating margins, product lines and business segments, refinancing and recapitalization. In the subsequent slides and videos, you will learn how to make a company's financial model in a professional way. Financial modeling requires blend of different skills. 1. Understanding of company's operations. 2. Accounting knowledge. 3. Corporate finance principles. 4. Excel techniques. To start off the financial modeling exercise, it is important to learn the Excel tools and techniques which are frequently used for financial modeling. Font colors used in financial modeling. Every analyst would like to use his or her own font color combinations. However, there are some global benchmarks which professional analysts would like to use. These are as per below. All hard-coded constants, actual factual data, is colored in blue. All the formulas are in black. All the linkages across worksheets are colored in green. The advantage of using different font colors is that if a client takes a printout or simply looks at the Excel financial model, he can quickly make out from the model constant, formulas and interlinkages between various worksheets. Shortcut to identify all the constants in the sheet. This shortcut makes our lives very simple as an analyst. Sometimes we may have 500 line number worksheets and we may have to color all the constants in blue. It can be a very difficult task to color manually all of numbers with blue font. The suggested approach is to use the go-to formula. First, select the full sheet from the top left-hand corner of the Excel sheet. Then press this keyboard shortcut, press Ctrl, G, or simply press F5. What we see is the go-to window. We need to instruct Excel to go to all the constants. For this, select the special button on the go-to window. Once we press the special window, special window pops up. We simply have to select the constants and don't forget to remove text, logical and errors as Excel interpret these as constants. For example, true is equal to 1 and false is equal to 0. We don't want such selections to be made. Now press OK. As you can see, the gray shaded cells are the ones that contain constants. You can now go to fonts 
and change the color of the constants as for your choice. We will color the forms here in blue. Accounting or comma style. The best style as considered by most analysts is the forms to be represented in comma style. You will find the comma style in the menu here. The advantages of the comma style is that the negative numbers are represented in bracket format. This provides us with the visual representation of negative and positive numbers. Number of decimals. There is actually no ideal number of decimals. The number of decimals depends on the unit used for reporting. Ideally, for income statement, balance sheets, and cash flows, no decimals or one decimal is preferred. Within the income statement, however, EPS may contain more than one decimal. Mostly, two decimals are preferred for reporting EPS. While reporting growth rates or margin in percentages, a single decimal is widely used. Change of units Sometimes, the reporting of the financial statements is in thousands, millions or billions. Though there is not strict way of reporting units, many a times it is the requirement to change the units from millions to billions, billions to millions, etc. There are two ways of changing the units. 1. Donkey method we divide or multiply each number by appropriate number. For example, to convert a number from billions to millions, we need to multiply that number by 1000. The problem with this method is that when we have a financial model or database which is really huge, this mechanical approach will be very tiring and time-consuming. Two. Smart method using paste special. In this method, we write a number, say 1000, in an empty cell with which we want to divide or multiply. The next step is to copy this cell using Control C. Now we will paste the cell using paste special. For this, we select the set of numbers which we want to multiply by 1000. Then we right click and then choose Paste Special. Within Paste Special, you will find Operation, Multiply. We choose Multiply and press OK. Here you go. All the selected constants are multiplied by 1000. 